Greetings, greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome back to the channel. This is Grand Tactician. I figured we'll hang out a little bit tonight. Got a lot of work done today. Need to blow off some steam, so we'll continue this uh, CSA campaign. If you haven't seen the earlier video, it's here on Twitch. I'll put that over on the YouTubes as well. You can see we're doing all right. We're doing okay. Uh, we can grow. I'm, I'm just I'm waiting for weapons, and we've got infield rifle muskets for everybody, which means and we got ten pound parrots, which means I've been playing pretty conservative. So it's time to uh, make this better. Okay, so let's build another brigade, shall we? Boom, boom, boom. All Maryland. Wow. Okay. Still got some Lula. No sharps yet. We'll take an infield. It's a good weapon. Hey, what's up, Hardy? Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you. We're just chilling out. I don't know uh, how much you've played this game, but yeah. I'm glad to have the chatting. We are just loading these boys up with the best weapon they've ever seen. They're just hoping they survive the war so they get to take this puppy home. All right. So there we go. We got that. Manning's not going to stay in charge of that, however. And we got to put this up here and then put this back here. I'm not going to continue to groan about this. You know my feelings about this. Okay. Uh, we need more guns as well, but I think we also want another, I don't know if I can do another brigade. I could definitely do, I can't full out a whole artillery either. You know what? We've got another regiment. Let's see who we want to promote here. I'm not super thrilled with this system. Everybody knows it, but I'm sure they're working on it. This game, the developers are always on top of it. Heath. Hmm. Old Pender Bender. Armstead, famous for dying at the stone wall at Gettysburg on uh, Pickett's Charge. Anderson would be a good choice. I like old Tricky Dick. Hey, Frederick93. Oh, you were about to Twitch stream and saw I was doing it, and so you'll do something else. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, it's a fun game. And uh, I don't know how this shit works over on Twitch, so feel free to like share share your uh, channel with me, and I'll try to raid you sometime if you're on. Des releasing a patch soon. Was talking to Oliver about it. It was a bug the other day. Nice, 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 nice. Dude, if you got their ear, tell them about the Order of Battle, because I want to be able to... I want to be able to take Richard Anderson right here. Where's old Tricky Dick at? There he is. I want to be able to promote him to this brigade commander spot. The only way I can do that right now is to replace him, and he's not going to like that. Uh, you know what? Make sure I'm paused. It is okay. And sometimes you don't get him back, and that really pisses me off. So we're gonna we're gonna try it here. I got plenty of money. We'll replace him with. Uh, who are we going to replace him with? Yeah, let's give Branch. Branch, one of the six generals that died at Antietam. Shot in the throat. It's gross. Poor bastard. Uh, we're also going to promote him to Colonel. Oh, maybe we won't. It didn't like that, did it? Colonel. All right, now. Give me a tricky dick. There he is. He's not happy with me, but he'll be happier now. There you go. So we got historical figure and a promotion to uh, old Brigadier General over there, brother. Congratulations. Join the club of the likes of Alfred Colquitt, Lafayette McClaws, Daniel Harvey Hill. It's a, uh, it's a tight little band. Okay, let's, let's play a little bit, okay? Okay, okay. Let's play a little bit. 
Yeah, hey, I'm not super new, but I don't really know how all of it works either, so don't feel bad. Um, all right, so what are we going to do? We're all pimping, like, downtown Washington, so let's just go on in. I mean, why not? Just walk on in, sit right down. Baby, let your hair hang down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We might have caught you with your pants down. Now, hopefully, they don't do some crazy springy shit. I do have a, have it on the hardest settings. <laughs> Been playing WNL CSA a bit lately, and one of the worst things I've seen is that mid-1863, you can run out of officers and start getting generic blanks. Have to race the AI. Recovers their wounds. Meanwhile... Yeah, you're absolutely right about that, Frederick. It's the, uh, you get later in the game and then run out of pictures, you know, so I get it. We should be able to put our own in there. I think. You know, and figure out some kind of filter so when it comes in, it just has to have that filter. Uh, da, 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 da. Deployment, deployment. Okay, let's see. I'm attacking, clearly. But, uh, whew. It's not great ground. And my army's not here. <laughs> it's just me. Oh, that's not great. I hope they don't attack me, because I'll be dead. Uh, so I guess I'll just wait and see where the army comes in to even decide what I'm going to do, because right now I've got nada. Well, i got some cav with me, of course. So let's get out here and see if we can uh, put an eyeball on the Union position. Do some of that old, uh, uh, what they call, uh, uh, reconnaissance. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you have a mod for that? That's, that's pretty dope. Yeah, I just like things to be official patches because you know how mods are, man. You gotta usually have secondary fucking programs running them and it's just all bullshit and spyware. Do 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 ba -da -ba -do. But the great thing about mods is that if it's a good idea and they show it in practice, the devs are usually like, okay, that's going in. <laughs> Thanks for the free work. All right, where are you hiding, Yankees? And how long is it going to be before my army gets here? ad break sorry about that i think if you subscribe you can ditch the ads but yeah I'm trying to save up for some gear bro so i appreciate you guys being here watching helping that the more you chat the more the owl go rhythm you know how al algorithm he loves that fucking chatter gets his little digital boner by listening to humans talk to each other so the more we communicate the better it likes it they call it interaction. It's all a program. Well, I'm not really liking what's going on here. Okay, I'm finally seeing some of the uh, works. So get up on the high ground. These trees are a real problem. My artillery is going to be dog, dicky dog shit. Dicky dicky dog shit. Dog dicky shit. Dicky dicky dog shit. Shit shit. Oh shit. That's a long line. That's a long line of uh, Yankees there. We better skedaddle there, 11th Virginia. McCowan. Yeah, just, just get close enough to watch them. You ain't even got to be that close, bro. Oh, they came out. Fuck, they don't like that shit. All right, let's go. And Joe, you shouldn't be up here anyway, bro. Get you back up here. Don't be fucking around. You might actually go back here. <laughs> These Yankees are coming out to fight, damn it. Well, we pulled them out of their work, so if my army comes in in a good position, but right now I don't see any army. And hopefully those Yankees will stop chasing me eventually. Oh, shit. I forgot one. Get out of there, Lee. Hey, I got some points at least. Get the fuck out of there. He's not going to get it in time. Oh, Billy Lee. I'm sorry about that, bro. Well... They seem to have stopped chasing me for the most part.
Yeah, Joe, you need to get out of there for sure. Um, Lee's going to have to break, dude. I need you to fucking retreat, bro. Like now. Disengage. Stop thinking for yourself and disengage, bro. Like yesterday, duder. Yeah, it's always fun, man. Making things better. I applaud the programming. It's a lot of work. They're still poking out here, probing, looking for me. Ah, is that my army showing up? Why, certainly, General, I do present to you the fine brigades of the Army of Jehovah. By division, Hood. Okay. What do we got? D.H. Hill. All right, so at least we got the river. Let's go ahead and open up with that. General McClaws. Yeah, we're going to have to send somebody south, so come on down. Colquitt, you'll go with him. Hmm. Mahone. You guys can be in line here. Mr. Anderson. Don't get shaky on me. I know it's your first battle in. Oh, all the guys aren't in yet. So we'll see how this all goes. Oh, Billy Lee is wounded in action. His guys need to get the fuck out of there, please. For the love of God. Oh, McGowan broke too, so. These Yankees, I'm telling you, man, the AIs, people complain, but it's gotten a lot better. They'll come after you. Look at this. Oh, yeah, they're still coming after me. Come on. I see. Don't take roads, man. Fuck. It's not selected to take roads, but he's certainly taking a road, and that's going to lead him directly into the Union line. Not happy about that, but, you know, that's where the AI struggles a little bit. <laughs> Still, we're working on it. Oh, and War of Rights, Frederick, I'm not in a unit per se. I have a unit set in Tennessee. It's semi-retired. There's no people in it. Um, but I film for the UEC, so the United European Community. A lot of fine regiments, and so they have a weekly event, and I go down there and film for them. They get to kind of see you know, how they performed and who did well and who didn't, and it's a good time. And I've watched those regiments grow over the years and some have really turned into some fine regiments. They really are. It's fun to watch. And uh, we've been away on break for a couple weeks, and we're going to be getting back into it ASAP because I've been jonesing for that shit. All right, Hill, come on across. I know you ain't got my homes with you yet, but... I think you can fight off that piddly shit. If they come at you too aggressively, you can cut them off one at a time, right? That is the trick. I'm going to try to get these boys across the river or the crick in this case. What is this? Where are we? We're in Washington. Oh, it's there. It's Rock Creek. Got to get them across the crick. All right, McCav has kind of recovered a bit after that little early ass whooping. We'll send him on back out here. Get some eyeballs on the field if we can. Mahone, if you'll go on in with him, sir. And where did Anderson end up? I guess I sent him down here, too. Or he's empty. Well, that makes sense, right? We just got him. He doesn't have his men in yet. All right, so let's go to line. We'll come across Rock Creek. You, Mr. Colquitt, will do the same on his right. All right, we got infantry here. Hill, if you'll take this fence line, sir. 
No advance option. Spadoinkle. Get the guns up here. Ah, end of the day. Ah, 4th New Jersey. Yeah, we filmed the 4th New Jersey. The Devils, I call them. Fine unit. All right, so are we in redeploy or what, what's happening? Did it lock up on me already? Oh, no, we're in redeploy. Okay. I think I'm just going to go at them. Maybe not that far up in the north. Maybe not that far. Give them some gun support. Oh, my boys right here, man. They were out. Oh, that's Jackson. I ain't even mine. Old Stonewall's here. Oh, shit. The Yankees might have some trouble to run. You know what? I might. Oh, I can't because he's already in this other sector. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a feeling these boys are going to be gone. But we shall, as they say, we shall see. Watch the rear there, brother. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, I had a feeling they'd be gone. Let's go make sure of that. And where are the Union? Swing it around, son. Well, since Jackson's down here, he's not mine. I uh, and we got more Confederates coming in. I think what we'll do is kind of faint up here, and hope we don't get flanked. There's nobody coming from. Oh, fucking spinner! I might just lock that next time. Although I do like to rotate when I want to. It's just a little too touchy. Maybe a lock key would be nice. So the Union's coming from here, so I got to watch that flank a little bit. Or that true north button would be awesome. Oh, that's close. Okay. It's like Jackson is withdrawing a bit. That's not great. <laughs> and we will go and probe the enemy position. Let's go ahead and send out those skirmishers if you don't mind, sir. That's what they're for, after all. All right, Cav, get on down here. I know you're a little gun shy and all. I don't blame you. I kind of hung you out to dry there. We always do. We always do. Cav is always slow to react, man. So I'm not sure what Jackson is doing. He's pulling back, though. I guess he's going to let me lead this attack. I'd like to get that cab down there so I can, so I can see what they're going on. You know what? You guys need to put out your skirmishers as well, please. Just in case I run up on them. Not meaning to, mind you. I just want to find them. That's all we're out to do. Reconnaissance. All right, Jackson appears to be trying to come back a bit. Let's hope. And we wait. Let's wait a little less. Yeah, 
Yeah, these guys can't see shit. But I guess it's bad weather too, or something, right? No, it's partly cloudy. A lot of wood lots. All right, there they are. I'll let Jackson go in if he will. And I'll come down here on the... Oh, fuck, man. Fuck me. I hate that shit so bad. Who did I grab? Hood. Tell everybody to fucking halt, please. That is the worst. Put out your halt command right now, goddammit. Thank you. At least there's a way around it. You better keep your fucking wits about you in this game, because it'll fuck you like that. Look, they all went back to double column. I want to get on the flank, but there's a lot of Yankees down there. It looks like I got a little better option up here. We'll bring up the guns. Ooh, they're coming right out, dude. These Yankees are fucking aggressive, bro. All right. We can fight fire with fire on that one. Get on up here. All right, here we go. We're going to test out these infields the old-fashioned way, aren't we? General McClaws, I'd very much like for you to be in position as quickly as possible. That means on the double. Alfred, if you will, go on up. Help those lads. The men inflicting some casualties. Got a little bit of artillery support there as well. Speaking of artillery. Where's uh, my boys? All right, we're gonna have to come right on down into the valley. All right, Mr. McClaws, if you will roll up the enemy flanks, sir. Uh, I appreciate that very much. Make sure to do that on the double. want to rouse too much attention until I uh, get these cannons to bear, which they now are. We can move on up. Give that artillery some needed support. General McClaws. You are here in my orders, sir, correct? Please move in on the double. Oh, thank you. The men getting full use of their new infield rifles. And as you can see from the casualty numbers, they're liking them. How about a little pressure from the flank? Alfred, if you will, sir. All right, just gonna let me gun him down up here for a while. I'll let that happen. We got enough going on right here at Rayfield. See Colquitt's men moving up. General McClaw, sir, they appear to be running away. Let us give chase. If you don't mind. Uh, yeah, make that. Oh, on the double. There you go. 
Good enough, good enough. They may just allow us to roll up this entire flank. Mr. Colquitt, will you please bring your men to the road, sir? Colquitt doesn't need a lot of reminding. Look at him. Uh, guys, again, changing formation in front of the enemy. I fucking hate that. All right, move on up, move on up. These boys are in trouble now. We have got them. We got them in a little knot here. They're in the woods. They're not going to get a lot of artillery support there. We're going to be moving in on them pretty quick. We've got them on the flank. Let's watch them run away. Run away, Yankees. Run away. Some of them standing strong. This Confederate force is just too strong. McClaws, if you will. Go ahead and move on up. Now, Alfred, if you'll make a slight wheel motion, I'd like to trap this army between the other parts of my army that are currently blasting the enemy. Let's get on up here and see if we can't ruffle their feathers. Oh, shit. <laughs> their feathers are quite ruffled. Okay. All right. Woo, they came out right at the end of the day trying to do a nighttime attack on me. Woo, saved by the bell. All right, so we all know in the morning they're going to be off of this position. I'm pretty sure of it, but let's be practical. First of all, we're going to call back those skirmishers. They're still here. Okay, you know what? Yankees, I'll give you that. Hang on. I've also got 64 points to dig in, so from left to right. From the Milk House Ford Road. I'm going to put as much of this as I can. Whoop. That's all I got for 64. <laughs> I guess it was 6.4. Alright, hey, you know what? It is better than nothing. Better than nothing, and might be a good artillery position. Well, that's behind the trees. So not so good. These guys will want to be more over here. Those trees, you can see, they're not seeing through them. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, Colquitt, Mr. Alfred, I think they're going to be further north of you when the uh, old clock begins. Almost, I just want to push into the side. I know it's a little early, especially since McClaws is so far down south, but I've got some support, so we'll see what happens. Let's go, go, Gadget, get it. Ah, uh, they redeployed me. Fuck, I hate that. I hate that so much, dude. Well, okay, first of all, let's justify this for a second. Hang on, pause. So Johnson thought that this redeployment of my guys in double rank and my artillery in the middle was far superior to my dug-in position where I had them partially surrounded. Is that what the AI is telling me right now? I don't think so. I think that's a bug. I hope it gets fixed because that is infuriating to me. Because we did a lot of hard thinking right there. I just wasted all that hard thinking. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm stupid. All right, I want to cancel that fucking order, by the way. All right, Jackson's going to take the lead anyway. Let's go ahead and redeploy up here. And we'll get that artillery in a position. At least it can hit somebody. Just hoping we get our army deployed like that. If Jackson's men can hold on to that left flank. Doesn't look like they're going to do it. I guess we're going to have to fucking here 
I don't plan on letting them up. I'll tell you that much right now. And what happened to the rest of my fucking brigade with the claws? Oh, there they are. Okay. Mr. Hill, if you will. Just open fire on them. Find a target. Mr. McClaws, if you will, sir, I'll have Colquitt coming up to help. Oh, Mr. Hill, there appears to be a perfect position for your men, if you will take it, sir. Mr. Mahone, if you'll come up and support Jackson from the south, I appreciate that. This is turning into a bloodbath. CSA is having their way with the United States Army at this point. Those infield rifles have really paid off, as you can see, worth every point, and I've got earned them all back from kicking some ass. So there you go, kids. Let that be a lesson to you. Kicking some ass will get you the points. They're moving in. Union, I thought, would be running away here. They gotta be close to it. You see Jackson's men, 10th Virginia, just chasing them. One little regiment by themselves. Like, I got them, Daddy. Don't let them get away. All right, if you'll shot, shoot at that just wad of Yankees there. Uh, it stopped. Hopefully it didn't crash. Well, 30 minute stream, is that what we're doing? Nope, here we go. Enemy is retreating, of course they are. All right, where's, now I want Hood, where's Hood? Sir, if you will use your division to attack this one man. It froze again, this game's struggling tonight. Yeah, that man right there, Jeremiah, shoot him right in the face, if you don't mind. He's not allowed to get away. Well, this should have been a major victory. We're in Washington. We just pushed the Union out of the capital of the United States of America. This is going pretty good for the CSA on June 15th of 1862. That's what happens when you make Jehovah a major general. Victory. Victory. Hey, Moscow man, I just saw that. Hey, thanks for being here. And thanks for the chat. Colonel Evans, fallen in disgrace. You know they said Colonel Evans used to carry a, a orderly around with a whiskey jug? I guess if you're going to die in the saddle, you might as well be drunk, but it probably hurts your uh, overall tactical ability, I would imagine. Never have been in combat, but it feels like common sense. Although I believe that was rampant. I mean, people did get accused of it a lot. Although I've heard people say also that that was just kind of an easy excuse for, you know, incompetence. So let's uh, tick tock. Let's look at the army after this battle. All right, so Anderson still doesn't have anybody in. Mahone's men. All right, let's check the men here for... Promotions, what we're looking for. Perks, for pecs and perks. So you can see the little red line going up on a lot of these. Got a little bit of combat experience. There's old Patty Claiborne. Damn it, I should have gave Claiborne that fucking that brigade. Next one's yours, Patty. Um, old Heath. I've also heard that as Heth. I like a Vanderlaw, though. Longstreet did not. There's Johnson. Old G.T. Anderson. Uh, we got A. Richard Garnett. That's not the Richard Garnett, I don't think, but A. Richard Garnett, wounded in action. Let's see if we can get an officer of our choosing. 
But you can see it gets to be pretty thin later down the line. I think Joseph Wheeler is going to be my man. I like old Joe Wheeler. Although there's George B. I like George B, man. George B. Anderson, another one of the six generals killed at Antietam. Uh, his North Carolinians, Tar Heels, they fought in the Bloody Lane. And he was back a uh, little ways south toward the Piper Farm out in an orchard or just outside the orchard, I think, and got shot in the heel. The heel bone was taken off the field, and he died later, mortally wounded. Uh, lived his whole life up to that moment. That's what happens. So we still got a good number of men in these regiments. I'm not going to rush anything on doing that. I could. All right, our weapons available. Let's focus. No sharps yet. Mm -mm, mm -mm. How about, is it available to buy? Nope. Not at all. Oakley dokley. Okay, what about actions? Any actions I can take? I don't care about the fame so much, but I get a prestige, right? Or it costs prestige. Fuck that. I'd happily pay $1,000 for this. I'm not sure why it won't let me do that. Let's just throw a party. We should be partying after that huge victory in Washington, D.C. And we should see the Union guys kind of run away. They're still fighting, though. They don't want to give that thing up easy. There they go. That 8,000 men, 4th Division, just came down onto Hood. Yeah. Better think about that, son. But knowing this game, it'll run me out of Washington. <laughs> it's happened before. All right. This guy needs to get even more rest. What a pansy. He's not healthy. You get the weirdest options with companions. I don't like that fucking guy either. But it's a plus two. I gotta take all I can get. Alright, so they're fighting it out right now. Yeah, it is crazy. How those things were going on around the world at the same time. I think Italy had just gotten its independence as well, just prior to the Civil War. Maybe even during. I, 61 is in my head for some reason. I could be wrong on that, but it's around that time. Um, Garibaldi's Guard, and I think there were some, um, there were also some Confederate, or not Confederate, but there were some American soldiers that were over there trying to help him out too that came back for the Civil War. But that's peripheral. I don't really have any details on that. Uh, let's see. All right, well, we get to up the brigade. We're going to go for the eyeballs in the sky. So everything's looking good so far. We're just gaining, gaining, gaining. We just need those weapons, dude. We need those weapons. All right, well, you know what? I guess we can do. We got enough points. We can give old Patty his, his own brigade. If we can get the men, I got a B minus. Woo, 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 baby, baby. Look at all those Kentucky units, son. All right, well, it's paused. Let's hope this works. Fingers fucking crossed. Let's give it to Pope. You've been sitting there long enough, Polk. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, Patty, Patty, Patty Claybear. There he is. All right. Booyah. So now Mr. Claiborne has his own brigade coming up, although it will take a while to get all the men. Hmm, that is looking sharp. Okay, so let's arm the fellas with the most modern of weaponry. You Kentucky lads deserve to have these rifles, even if you don't have shoes. It's not an option in the game to provide you shoes. I would. 
Don't want any man fighting barefoot in my army. Boy, a lot of Kentucky units. I don't think I have an Arkansas in the whole damn division. Are there any Arkansas regiments? I don't remember any. A lot of North Carolina and Georgia, Maryland, Louisiana. Nope, no Arkansas. Sorry there, Patty. No Razorbacks. Well, we'll see what happens. Look, he's looking pretty good. He's been doing a good job in the battles, so well done, Mr. Claiborne. Uh, Patrick Claiborne, of course, dies 1864 at the Battle of Franklin, within 50 yards of the breastworks of the enemy. <laughs> Excuse me. Some people say Old Claiborne never got a core because he had put forth a petition and got it signed by a few of fellow officers that they should arm slaves and put them in the army as a uh, as a way of getting their freedom. And say what you will about the war not being about slavery, but the Confederate generals around him were not having any of it. <laughs> he was ordered to rip up the letter and uh, never speak about it again uh, to save his career, basically. And Walker, he was like, no, you're going you're gonna to give me that letter. You're going to write it. So he took the other guy's names off of it and just kept his own name on it. And Walker took it all, all the way to Jefferson Davis and Basically, Davis kind of did the same thing, swept it under the rug. Claiborne was too valuable of an officer to get rid of, but they didn't have to promote him anywhere, so they didn't, and that's where he was. It's crazy how that kind of stuff works, man. But we all know Patrick was right. And later on, even, you know, you had Lee and Longstreet guys talking about it, so... But... Uh, understandably, they were frightened to give a large group of black men weapons <laughs> so near to them. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. USA almost invaded Paraguay in 58. And we're always almost invading somebody. I'd rather be almost invading than invading We've been doing too much of that these days. 1.8 thousand. We're still looking good. We still got room in this army. And I'm seriously considering it, but I'm going to wait until the men come in because they're not all here. Claiborne still didn't have anybody. All Anderson's boys are here. They're in place. You can see they have no experience. Raw recruits, however, we do have units with a fair amount of experience. None of them are great, though, and I've been fighting in this army for quite a while. I guess whenever you just keep, you know, loading men into them, it probably reduces that, which is fine. That makes sense. That's logical. Well, you can see that steady goes down from there, although that last battle was pretty bodacious, brah. It was what they call coup. Let's just get a... Random artillery officer, shall we? Shoop, shoop. Go get them. Shoop, shoop. A lot of 10 pound parrots. I, you know, I got the money. Let's do another artillery. Artillery. Okay. I'll think about replacing them in a minute. Let's get his guns first. Surprised the Confederates haven't given me more men at this point. Oh, look, McRae's all... Oh, it's a different McRae. All right, they all come in with these shitty, shitty, shitty six-pounders. Are the three-inch ordnance available yet? I don't want those big 20s and shit. No, all right, we'll go with parrots. It's fine by me. It's a good gun. I like a parrot rifle. You know what's good? It's get that big old ass on it, right? That wrought iron band to keep that thing from exploding. Because it has so much power. And then, of course, they went to the three-inch ordnance, which Gary Edelman called out in a recent video as wrought iron, the wrought iron gun, which I love that. I never knew that. Those guys are 
fantastic. If you've never seen the American Battlefield Trust, you guys got to check those guys out. Just awesome history. It's the stuff I wish I could do. And they get to do all that stuff and teach us some wonderful, wonderful history. So there we go. We got another artillery. We're down on points now, but I tell you what, Hood's division looking pretty damn strong. Much stronger than the one he had at Antietam. Hood only had two brigades. It's one of the things that I always found fascinating. That's awesome, Mosca man in here. Throwing down some history. I love it, man. Keep it up. Yeah, you know, like I said, algorithm. He loves that fucking interaction, so keep it up, man. Keep it up. So the army looking pretty good. Let's just fast forward through time a bit. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens here downtown in Washington. The capital is falling. The Union Army has officially run away. Do we have Washington in our grasp indeed? I believe we do. So that red line should be coming our way, and we should be getting the good out of this game before too long. We can definitely go to Baltimore if we wanted to soon. Hood's men getting some rest. Getting all the men come in. Of course, my guy's getting sick again, although I've got tons of rests. Look, hey, what does this do for me, guys? I've got, well, I have now I have 24, of course. Do I need 24? I've got like eight points in rest. Who got re rehabilitated? Isaac Seymour. So I guess the question is, I mean, they got they still have an army down here on the peninsula. I should really go after that. There's a fort down there. Got the Army of Northern Virginia with me. Garnett's division's here as well. If I move forward, they might go with me. But Hood, yeah, Hood's not ready. And uh, it looks like I don't have to wait. They're going to go without me. Maybe I can squeeze down and help them a bit. No, I can't move either. So we'll let the uh, old ticker run right now. Looking pretty good for the old CSA in this one. I'll have to do a, uh, a union version of this as well. But the game is fun, man. This is the DLC, Lemons and Whiskey, or Whiskey and Lemons. I think it's Lemons and Whiskey. It's, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And if you're on the edge, if you're on the fence about getting the game or not, you should. I totally recommend it. It's a lot of fun. This is just one game mode. There's another game mode where you can play the whole war as the president of the United States or the CSA, and it's just absolutely bonkers. It's a huge learning curve. But I was able to do it, so you, you'll get there. And the devs are still working on it. That's what the main thing is, right? We can compare it to Total War. We can compare it to Ultimate General, but at the end, it's its own thing, and it's got the best order of battle in any game, in my opinion. I wish this thing, I mean, there's still some improvements I've talked about, which are things I'd like to see in it, but it's by far the best. My whole army is here now. Look at that. Doom, doom, doom. I got 800. I don't know. It's not enough for a full, so I'm going to wait. Oh, you know what I probably should do? Oh, here we go. They attacked me with fewer men. Okay. Well, that works. They still have a pretty good army, but we're gonna bring out we're gonna bring out old Hood's division to play. That's right. And for those of you new to the channel, we are broadcasting live from Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, United States of America. Hey, 
And here we go. I'm on the defense, which is actually pretty sweet. Oh, they're all up on my boy. Look at this. Okay, so they've already been fighting then. I came in late, which makes sense, right? Um, hmm. So who is this? That's Lee up there. Jackson. They're, I'm not going to say struggling, but they ain't going to do great. But they're about to get some help. I bet Lee has got a huge rebel boner right now because he just got a whole massive division the size of a small core posting up on the Union. So let's get in there and help old General Lee, shall we? First of all, we'll place some guns. Now, surely there's more Union coming. Let's not hedge our bet completely, but I would like to destroy that army. Okay, they might be coming in behind me. We'll get the cav over there. And I'm probably going to have to leave some guys down here to guard, right? I don't want to leave Anderson or, or Claiborne. They're new. Let's leave somebody that's been fighting a while. We'll do Daniel Harvey. Because it could get real hot down there real quick. You know what? I'm probably... I'm not going to need that much up there. Let's do this. Let's do Claiborne with his brand new brigade. Let's do Anderson with his brand new brigade. Let's get these men some help with McClaws right up front. Actually, you know what, McClaws? I'll put you a little bit behind. Give you a little bit more cover. And then on the old flankage, because he does move when I ask him to, Mr. Alfred Colquitts. And we'll go back up to Johova. Nobody is going to be able to think for themselves. No, thank you. Uh, who are these guys attached to? Oh, those are all cav. Okay. So we're going to put a cav over here. Who are you attached to? Mahone? Where are you at? Okay. He was stuck in a trench or something. I'll put Mahone down here as well. Give some of his guys some cover. Cover, they call it. And I want to see about getting some cab over here. Now, let's think about this a little better. I can come in on the flank which I think is metal. And these guys will just be already engaged. Of course, old Patty Claiborne. If the Union's still there, which I'm sure they will be, they will be engaged. Now let's bring McClaws up. Oh, I've got the perfect thing right here, right? Why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you do that, stupid? All right, we'll put you back here in the middle. And the guns, well, there's not a lot of shooting room around this parts. But I reckon... I can put some guns up here. Oh, yeah. Boy, if those if it lets me shoot in the forest like that, it's going to be a ass-spanking good time. Doesn't look like it, though. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Mr. Colquitt. Yes, sir, that's what I plan to do. I'm going to try to defend it. See how much Yankee madness comes this way. Could be a lot of it. Could be a lot. And if it is, I'm kind of effed because I put most of my guys up here. But I'm going to try to get in on these Yankees as quick as possible. And try to destroy them. With my infield rifle. With my infield rifle. How much unions coming from the other way? That is the question. So we got to be quick.
have you not received your orders, sir? Ooh, I got some points there. I just happened to be where they wanted me to be. That's all. All right, Claiborne's men are engaged and moving. Clay Copeland, why don't you get your ass in gear, buddy? Skirm on skirm right there. Look at this. Claws not playing around. Got his McClaws out. will Mr. Anderson come on in let's push these Yankees off the map oh Claiborne already losing one of his Kentucky units getting popped on by some artillery that means we need skirmishers out Anderson you'll do the same Hopefully get skirmishers up close enough to that artillery to knock it out. I can move on in. Oh, fuck. This again. Our cavalry is freaking slow to move, bro. Probably just need to get an officer to run my cavalry. It might help him. Colquitt, get in there right now. Stop fucking around. Anderson finally on the move. Of course, our artillery battery is helping out significantly in this area. They're out in the open. Give them all the guns. You get all of them. Look at the Georgia coming out by themselves. I never told you to do that, boy. Hurry, hurry up, hurry up. Because those are some thick ass woods. That's why you can't shoot through them. How long it's taking my boys to get through there. And Claiborne's guys are all jacked up. Come on, boys. Back in line, back in line. I guess George, 11th George has got the idea. Old McClaws is going to have to come out. The old McClaws are going to have to come out. I don't see any union movement yet over here, but I'm sure it's coming soon. Let's see if we can block these off. That'd be great. I don't know that that actually matters, but in my heart it tells me I should do that. In my heart, even if it's not real. Alright, can you get rid of those skirms now, please? We're hotly engaged. No more need for skirmishers. But I would like you to move there, McClaws. I think because they're attached to Jehovah, it's keeping me further away from my guys, and it's hurting my amount of uh, information that can be shared since my calves all spread out do they still have artillery up here we got to get in closer all right it's time for targeted attacks nope I can get on the line get in there boys get in there Finally making a move, and I need to make a move again. You're too slow, boy. You're too slow. All right, we don't need all this artillery, so let's start bringing it down here.
Hurry up, hurry up. Get your ass on the move. See, again, changing position in front of the enemy. No bueno. No bueno, not even a little bueno. All right, there's the Union. I see him. Okay. All right, so it's time to stop fucking around up here. We're going to have to bring somebody back, at least somebody. I think it's going to be Claiborne. Okay. We're going to have some wood walking to do, but this is better than what I had to do earlier. Say. So there's Claiborne. He's got all his guys. McClaws. Yeah, I can't put them down there. They're detached. And I'm going to let... How about I just let you guys handle that up there? Because I don't know what they're coming at me with. So I need to bring all my shit down here. I mean, that's how I feel about it. I don't know how you're feeling about it. So, let's, uh, fuck, come on. Let's, oh, let's stop spinning. Can we stop spinning? Okay. From left to right, we're going to take it from the river. Slight salient. Still got a few points left. Through the woods. All right, so now, Mahone, you're going to take that spot. Hill, you're going to take this spot. Feel free to get out there and chop as many trees as you possibly can in the meantime. All right, and these guys can come out of line of battle to get into a marching column. You're going to be marching, son. Try to give my guys every advantage. And probably bring Hood down too so they didn't get shot and killed. <laughs> and Mr. Yehovah as well. Alright, let's see if we can hold out how far the Yankees get down this road. Fan out the cavalry. Cavalry, see if we can get those boys in line. Okay. All right, that's everybody. <sighs> I think they're going to go south. Get on over there, Mahomes. Just in case, you guys need to get your orders. All right, Mr. Hova, if you'll get back here, please. Hood, you can do the same. Yeah, they are going south. Hmm. In force. Okay. Well, we know where to move our fresh troops. Thank you, caval Cavalry, for doing your job. Job's not completely over. I need you to get that point for me if you don't mind. These guys are in a bit of danger. If you can try to get out of it, please. All right.
right, and our first brigades are coming in. Starting with McClaws. Then we got Mr. Colquitt. Hone's already in line. Mr. Anderson. Get him up there. And then old Patty Boy. We can have you right here at the point of contention. And artillery is not going to be much help for us here. This is not going to be. So we'll line it up on the fence, try to give it some cover anyway. And as long as they're going after the cavalry, cavalry, they're not coming after me. Here we go. We got the guys behind cover. Get right up, get right up on it. All right, they ran off the cav. Get your ass back in line. What are you doing? Oh, that's not Heath. It's Bushrod Johnson. What are you doing? Right, they're already here. Immediately go into Mahone's line. I need Claiborne down here. The rest of the boys are on the way, but still time. I might be able to swing out with Hill right here. We'll see what happens. It's feeling like a good opportunity. I don't have any cab up there to watch my flank. Yes, I do. But Mahone and those boys from Maryland, they got good cover. Good weapons. And they have McClaws in support. Get these guns up here, see what we can do. All right, boys, I know it's rough terrain, but we got to get going here. See, there are Union up there. I was hoping there would not be, but there are. So we'll keep Hill, uh, Hill watching that flank for us a little while longer. Put these guns up close. Maybe they can get over the heads of some of those trees. I don't like how the cavalry goes right back in. I don't have him on following roads, by the way. All right, so we held off that attack. Claus has an opportunity for a flank, but we'll wait on that and not get too hasty. We're in the woods. we got some good cover. They're going to send in regiments onesie twosie. I'm going to destroy them, especially Cav. Bang. Come on in. The water's fine. Come right into these, this mouth that I've created here with these two brigades. All right, and some of our other infantry finally getting their booties in gear, coming around. Get some more cav out here. They're the eyeballs of the whole army. We're about to get Alfred Colquitt on the flank here. These Yankees are aggressive. You got to give them that.
We'll move old Anderson out that way. Yankees don't seem too excited at this point for that, so. We'll get uh, Claiborne coming down this way as well. And if you ever get confused, you can always just go back to the order of battle. Like I said, best one in the game. I want to choose Claiborne. And there he is. So I'm going to bring Claiborne down here as well. Okay, so they are trying to make a move on the left flank. We're going to have Anderson out there. Maybe uh, maybe I'll keep Claiborne up here for now, actually. And he may not even have any men. I thought he did, though. But we'll find out. If we can get Colquitt down here to execute this flanking maneuver, I mean, I could almost do it with McClaws at this point, but I'd like to get a, a tight flank on him. You can see the guys trying to just push my cab out of the way. They're going to find infantry if they're not careful. Getting all kinds of points, sitting in the right spot. All right, Alfred, come on, boy. Get down there. Yeah, I might let DHL come out. Let's just go ahead and do a, an attack here. These guys aren't showing me a lot of spunk. They want to mess with some horsemen? Let's show them some uh, infantry. them to stop thinking for themselves. <laughs> That'll do it. Bang, bang, boom. Let's hear the big guns. Yeah, Yankee's in a lot of trouble right now. As soon as I can get Alfred Colquitt around onto the flank, he's ready for his second position order. And we'll drive Colquitt. Colquitt's quickly becoming my hammer, uh, but we'll end up driving him. The Yankees are going to try to bring more forces down, but we've got a tight line here and more reinforcements coming into the area with Claiborne and his men. So move him down to that corner spot. The salient. But we're going to have a good angle if we can keep this artillery away from us. So we'll have to throw out some skirms for old Alfred. And right now, our guys are looking pretty stout. Let's go ahead and put Hill right up on that water. We'll have Anderson in support. And the Union filing down this way, but I'll tell you, if you put your troops down here, we're going to get the hard swing, and it looks like that's what's about to happen. We have to close the door coming from the north, and we're going to snap the trap, close it around their neck. See Colquitt's men ready for the maneuver, and here we go. Go, go, gadget, get them. Sixty fifth Virginia lagging behind quite a bit. Let's see how long it takes Colquitt to get his orders. Oh yeah, they messed up. They have exposed their flank in the air to me. Let's just confirm it. And now Colquitt's men will go marching through the open fields. And we'll see if old Alfred can do it again. So far, so good with those infield rifles. And they're engaged a hard flank. Burr. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and back that up.
And confirm the flank is in the air. Let's go ahead and bring down the hammer. It's time to destroy this army, sir, if you will proceed. Yes, sir, as ordered. Proceed. And you can see the literal jaws closing around the enemy. So I should be able to destroy this army, man. They should not be able to get away. I should be able to close in around them and just crush. Such is not the case. These skirmishers just can't keep up with this fast-moving infantry, so I'm just bringing them up. Those, they'll run away from those guns. Yep, here they go. All right. Mr. McClaws, if you wheel to the left slightly, you will give more room to Mr. Colquitt as he pushes forward. Mr. Hill, you may come up. Mr. Anderson, you may come up and support as well. And how about we get that artillery out where it might be able to do a little bit of play a little bit of music. Well, like I said, if you're having doubts about this game, you can build armies just like this and destroy the enemy. It's a lot of fun. It's actually easier for the Union, too. You get better weapons. All my guys are breaking. They're right up in the heat of it now. Colquitt's boys trying to hang on. All right, Mahone. Come out and give them the coup de gras. Let's make that on the double. Hill is going to close the door, and Anderson is going to slam it shut. Colquitt's men, still good. Hanging on. It's a bloody contest. McClaw's way up front. Going to put himself in a lot of danger here. Let's put him in some more. Forward. See, at this point, I could see them change position, but it sucks to do it in the face of the enemy. Although it seems like they're going to be pretty straight. There's a couple of them here seemingly changing for no reason. But this uh, Union Army needs to get the hell out of here. This is just murder at this point. And again, it would be cool if they couldn't, if I were able to take that spot. But that spot's still open, but they should have to get back to it. <laughs> That's just my opinion. boys we are just mopping them up at this point our guys are all tangled oh these guys are trying to make a fucking breakout here let's not allow that to happen I would like them destroyed sir Colquitt, wounded. We lost him. My hammer. Sounds like somebody's getting a promotion. Oh, there we go. Breaking, breaking, breaking bad. And that ain't good for the boys in blue. 17 Pennsylvania still trying to hang on, but they're going to have two small brigades coming after him now. The Confederate Army has just absolutely annihilated this southern Union Army. There's still one up here, though. Can't really forget about those boys. But I have destroyed the force that they sent down here. And I may get back up there and help uh, Bobby Lee out. But let's make sure this is done. You know what I can do? I can go ahead and send Claiborne. I can indeed. Let's go ahead and do that. It'll take him a while to get there. But that'll be fine. These cavalry units should be able to mop up these guys now. Now that they're all panicked and weak. Hey, 
Hell, Anderson's still pretty fresh. He could go too, really. But. We'll go ahead and bomb some of these guys that are still messing around. Swing Anderson in around the back. End of day, they should be running away, man. Okay, so this is interesting. I'm just going to get redeployed anyway, right? Isn't that what happened last time? Lee redeployed me for no reason? Or was that the last battle? I always forget. So you got to do this every time. So let's get the men situated where I can see them. Colquitt's wounded. Mahone's still good. A lot of ammo. Anderson's still good. Claiborne's still good. Got some artillery. Still looking pretty good. Okay. So, not sure what these guys are going to pull out of their little bag. I'll leave two guys down here to protect the point of contention. With some cab to watch. Make sure it's all good. All the cab I've got left. No, i got some more up here. And we'll try to get the rest of the boys on the road. That's a long road up there. Again, I'm not going to get in a super big hurry. We're just going to move them up there as soon as we get the opportunity. I left two guys back with some cav to hold the area. They should be able to do that, I would think. Let's go on down to DH Hill. Mm, Confederates backed up quite a bit. It's a pretty big army up there. Okay, so should we think about defense? Let's go to the high ground. We may end up in defense. But for now, we can at least try to make a show of it. See the Yankees down here still playing around. They're going to make another attack on me. Almost into my second brigade. I guess that artillery is kind of useless, so. Yeah, they're coming across. They're also bringing guys down here. Okay. That's fine, dude. Let's put the artillery down here, though. Come on down, son. I'll be happy to see you in my four brigades. Or three. I can't remember how many I got. Uh, let's go ahead and put you on the point so they don't go sneaky sneaky on me like they are known to do. We'll start marching. Get Anderson's men some well-needed experience. All right, we're already on them. And we got the high ground, Anakin. You can come right up the middle. Ooh, they got a lot of dudes. That's a lot of dudes. I sent all my guns away. I'm just afraid I'm not going to be able to use them in those woods. Though I'm not really using them much here either. I'll just point them this way in case they get that close, but I hope they don't. These guys are demoralized and messed up, so I gotta keep pushing them. D 
damn fucking screen. Come on, man. Stop that shit. I have to lock you down, aren't I? All right. Now they're retreating. They're like, oh, there's a there's another army down here. <laughs> they just beat up on Robert E. Lee, and they're like, oh, well, we can just push all the way through. No, you can't. There's a huge wall of rebels known as the Army of Jehovah. All right, so another stunning victory by the Army of Jehovah. You come to expect it out of this army. And get more kills. And this was without sharps, by the way. If I had sharps, they would melt before me. Oh, but right now we're getting pretty lucky, and they're attacking us with small armies, so with a numerical advantage, we can do it right. So the question is, did the U.S. president have any, uh, have any influence on the battles? And the answer is yes. He didn't take direct command, so Lincoln never led army troops in the field uh, as the president of the United States, but uh, he was the commander-in-chief, so the commander-in-chief is basically in charge. The general takes orders from him. He takes orders from the Congress. <laughs> Excuse me. And that's how it went. And most generals felt like Lincoln took way too much power. They just did. I mean, and he made mistakes, and he he really, he was very forceful. I'll put it to you that way. He wanted those guys to move, and he was constantly on their ass about attacking attack 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 we've got all the resources we got everything don't wait don't wait attack 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 and the you know the union guys are like well you know we're trying to conserve lives and he's like fuck your lives we have to attack <laughs> uh true story so let's go ahead and refill my ranks we've got the money if you got the money honey i got the time So we'll fill them up with these boys down here. They'll get their commands back because I will be refilling the ranks. Old Claiborne's losing a lot of men here. The boys did take quite a beating, but it was a hell of a battle. And, and, and it's for Washington, D.C. Remember, we are... As the Confederates in Washington, D.C., by September of 1862, this is September 17th, just a few days before what's on the map right now, was the Battle of Antietam, where the Union Army finally showed some backbone and really started turning the war around, and uh, yeah, not so much here. They have not turned it around, and if they have, they're turning around and running away. We are kicking the shit out of them right now. Of course, it helps to have a fantastic army. This one is pretty damn badass, if you ask me. So funny, you can attach him when he's got no men. Like, he gave that unit disabled men. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. That'll really help me in the upcoming battle. But you can see now all my... Reg so that was basically... Those are the kills. Four and a half regiments worth of kills. It's crazy. So, is this guy... No, he's still got 600. He's okay right now. Now, hopefully it didn't mix their weapons, because they all had the same weapons. Okay, good. No need for mixed weapons. And Claiborne, we'll give you some more men if we can. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, you got a Maryland unit along with all your Kentucky boys. And you can see most of those guys are going to get their commands back. No Sharps rifles yet, huh? That's okay. We're doing okay without them. And we'll get them eventually. Held all these points. we got another brigade in our belt, to be honest with you. But I think... Hmm. Who was it? Oh, it was Colquitt. Got wounded. 
All right, Cheatham, damn it. You've waited long enough. He's been on the bench the whole time. <laughs> when are you going to put me in, dude? All right, you're in. Uh, hopefully I can keep an eyeball open when Colquitt comes back and I can get him back, but I just don't know if I can or not. Uh, I should make another brigade right now, to be honest with you. I got 2,000. I've already got six brigades in this division. That's hilarious. But you know what? We've already been streaming for an hour and a half. Um, it's pretty good for a weeknight. I think we'll call it right here. Let me go ahead and save it real quick. While I'm doing this, I just want to thank all of you guys for being here. I sincerely appreciate your time. Save. Yes, yes, yes. Save. And until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye. Wait, before you go, let's see if we can raid somebody. Nope. No channels I follow are streaming right now. Sorry, everybody. Well, if you want to change that and you're a streamer, go ahead and follow me, and I'll follow you back, and we'll see if I can't raid you next time. All right, guys. See you later. Have a great night.